How's it going, everybody? My name is Zombie Peter, and welcome back to Curse. So, the Halloween skins are gone, and we're back to creepy old Mary. No more pumpkin head. So, is that going to make it more difficult for us to defend against her, since we don't know... Oh, God, these stairs sound horrible. Oh, okay. So, this game is back to being super creepy again. Oh, comic relief is gone. Can we hurry to the bathroom? Oh, no, just take your time. That's that's not hurry at all. There's only a monster trying to murder us. Let's have a leisurely soul on this soft red velvet carpet, or whatever this carpet is. I only have a few more moments. I better appreciate this handcrafted mahogany door. Okay, unlock it with the key. Unlock it with the key. Thank you. Okay, go go in, go inside. There we go. You're figuring it out. You just, oh, that is really dark. Okay, how about we go in with a flashlight? The, in, yes, in, please. Again, just taking your time. Even, even though there's a ghost trying to kill you. Is this just like a square room? Oh, okay, no, there's more. What the, I can't see anything. What is in front of my face? This, there's, how is this a bathroom? There's nothing in here. It's a square box. There's, there's no mirror. I, it's pitch black or blindingly bright. So yeah, let's investigate the mirror that I can't see for some reason. Oh, is there like a canvas over it? No, there's a false panel. Okay. And, and she, she yeah, she got stabbed at the back. Oh God, really? R really, D this Mary's already trying to kill you. Let's bring another Mary into this. Let's have a party. Let's, let's bring all the Marys down here. Come on. You stare into the mirror and you say the words, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary. Nothing bad happened. <laughs> I've always wanted to do that, especially now being the opportune time because something is trying to get me. Oh, fuck it. Well, I, I, I couldn't do anything. I, what, what? I couldn't. It, you didn't even give me an opportunity to defend. You're just like, well, you're fucking dead. Okay. Well, I guess now we can test out the theory that maybe I don't have to do something. Can I just leave the mirror and not do anything with it? No, leave. leave the, okay, so choices do matter. Oh, so we don't have to do absolutely everything. Even though we'll probably end up doing absolutely everything. I sure hope this works. Because I've trapped myself in this tiny little closet space that's supposed to be a bathroom. I, I guess you just go in the corner or something. There's no sink! There's... There's nothing here. I think the game might have messed up a little bit when they tried to revert back to the old changes. Sure. So hopefully this is just this room and everything else is perfectly fine. Are these shears just gonna float in the middle of nowhere? Are, are they gonna just be here? Nope, they're gonna disappear. All right. So. Hopefully we'll just have to deal with this for now. Something's happening. I'm guessing blood and stuff, because that seems to be the theme. Leave the sink. Okay, that was effective. I thought I needed salt for this. I, am I not supposed to put a ring of salt around it? Yeah, there. So let's not have all the stuff we need for this first. Okay, Mary, time to go. Oh, we, we apparently have salt. How is this exercising her? It's just trapping her in a room. It's like, hey, I remember that you were murdered in here, so we're going to keep you trapped in here forever. This is not at all like a personal hell for you. Instead, this is, you know, this is setting you free. This is putting you to peace. I used sage in the ritual. Wait, what happened to me grabbing the salt? What happened? Oh, I just, I don't have to do it. My body and mind are happy and relaxed. My natural shielding is perfect. Then why is the room shaking? My mind is perfectly shielded. 
I'm more worried about my body. I am perfectly protected. I am free and I am clear and free of all negative influences. Confront this very Mary Chaucer. I reject all known and unknown agreements and contracts with the energy that traps Mary Chaucer. I reject and banish this energy from this manor. You are free of this place, Mary. Go now. I... How is this possible? So it didn't work. And now we're flying backwards. I really hope that that was just that room because if, if something's broken in the game and I've just started all over it, what is happening? I don't, I don't know what's happening right now. I may have to do this over. Well, at least my neck isn't broken, that's a plus. The ritual isn't working. Well, I kind of figured that out, but thank you for letting me know. Let's use an untested ritual, sure. That you have practiced before and completely know how to do by glancing at a page once. Oh, I have to, oh, I should have read more carefully. Uh, oh, salt circle. Salt is number one, always. Okay, at least I don't have to remember the words because I never would have gotten that. Type out the spell. That sound, yep, okay, so we're off to a good start. Um, um, sage. I mean, you gotta season it first, right? Oh, I have like no battery, I just realized that. Okay. It, was that the right thing to do? P please, please say that that's the right thing to do. Okay. I I'm pretty sure we're safe. I'm pretty sure we got it. We managed to uh, muddle our way through a uh, spell. Speak the words of power. Okay. Yep. Those are from my memory. I remember those. Even though I've only read them once and seen them in a book for like three seconds right before I got thrown out of the room. I remember them perfectly. I wish I had memory like that. Benedict Cumberpatch, deuce. Oh, no, we're, not, we're not doing that. We're not doing that? Okay, fine. We'll just finish this bell the old boring way. Get out of here. You don't belong here, Mary. Get out of here. Get out of my house. It's my house. Get out of here. Okay, so I don't know if Mary's supposed to be here right now because uh, I mean I hear screaming, but I don't see anything. So I, I guess maybe because everything else seems to be here. Like there's the the, the phonograph, the grandfather clock's here. The bathroom seemed to be only a broken room. Cool, we got rid of Mary. So now we need to meet the next creepy ghost that lives here? Sure. Let's go to those doors that just opened and go inside. Because this could not... And these stairs are still really creepy and loud and weird. Oh, this looks nice. Oh, this is, this is so inviting. I'm ready to go inside there with the smooth floors that have no... Carpeting to prevent blood stains. Uh, can we go anywhere else? Nope, let's just go right inside. Now that Mary is free, things should get a bit easier. I have a feeling that that is exactly not what is going to happen. Hopefully. <laughs> okay. Uh, main hallway. Rather than explore any of these door. What was that? Okay, I guess we're just trapped here. Oh, fantastic. Uh, I'm gonna guess the guy who lived here, you know, Mr. Atherton. Oh. No, why would you, why would you go up to those sounds? You have creepy sounds of some little girl or something giggling behind this door, and you just finished getting your ass kicked by a ghost, it threw you down some stairs, and you're like, you know what? Let's poke our nose in somebody else's business.
Okay, we have not a lot of battery left. I don't think... What is happening? That was footsteps. I just heard footsteps run to my left. Oh my god, there's something in the walls. Oh, it's so terrifying. I hate that. I hate things in the walls. In like horror movies, that's just so creepy. Okay, whatever it was, it's gone now. Yeah, it probably won't come back and try to eat our face off or anything like that. It's probably just like, hey, just wanted to give you a little spook. I'm out of here. Approach the bed. <laughs> I could use a nap. I'm pretty tired after it's all fighting ghosts and stuff. Right before he murdered them. We're not supposed to fla flash it, are we? All right. I mean, th that that bedspread looks more like wallpaper than you know a bedspread, something you'd want to sleep under. But then again, Eddie has excellent taste in wine, so I guess we're gonna trust his uh, judgment on this. It's unlocked. Good to know. Oh, a letter. Is it, if you're reading this, I'm behind you and I'm about to murder you. Michael De Niro, team tech lead. Same tech problems I'm dealing with. Interesting. Well, looks like Michael had a thing for Tasha. Heh, <laughs> I hope he likes ghosts then because I saw hers downstairs. Oh, that's kind of crass, dude. Seriously, like what a dick move by this guy. Like, hey, you like Tasha? Well, she's dead now, so I hope you're into the whole ephemeral look. Okay, whatever's in the walls, if it stays in the walls, we can be friends. Like, I'll, I'll knock on the walls, we'll do just, like some Morse code, like chatting, but if you come out of those walls, I don't think we can be friends anymore. And we will not be having any more sleepovers ever again. That laugh is questionable, but it's okay. Again, C.1, staying in the walls. I can deal with the laugh. I might even learn to like it. But you gotta stay in the walls. That's the deal. There's nothing here. I wonder where it could have gone. I'll probably walk right inside. Oh. That's a really big wardrobe. Oh, okay, it's just a ghost. Never mind. Is this Michael? As long as they don't have a body, they don't seem to hurt me. I don't think it was an angel. Sure, let's just... Oh! Be Did Mr. Atherton kill the kids too? They were hiding in the children's toy chest. There's a book. Oh, so are there, are there ghost kids too? Maybe they won't be super evil and mean and try to kill me because they're children. Maybe they just want to play, like Monopoly or something. Although, in all fairness, you can have the nicest person in the world and if you play Monopoly with them, they'll want to murder you after about two hours. Because it's, you know, Monopoly. Uh, investigate the nightstand. Is, is the, is, okay, nope, we're just going to ignore the book. We're, we're just going to go for the notes instead. Because ha, too much reading is boring. Alright, Michael. Let's go through your private notes. Michael heard the same crawling sounds here as I do. He was also enamored with Eve Atherton. It's, dude, who does this guy not like? She must be the angel he was referring to. Wait, we haven't seen her yet, right? Oh, okay. There's that giggling again. <laughs> it's probably some funny joke that they just want to tell me. Like why the chicken crossed the road and not here. Oh, God, Michael, you can't do that shit, man. Cool. Great. Good for you. That nothing helpful. Nothing beyond that. Just, oh, man, you're moving that. Moving the water. But nothing to tell me, like, how to, you know, make it out of here alive or anything. Just, she showed me some cool stuff. I'm sure there's some nefarious reason for it. Well, what has not had a nefarious reason so far? 
Okay, red text. No thanks. No. Are we... Oh, God. Oh, this is a choice thing, and we're going to die. Okay, we're going to look in the chest, and we're going to die, and then it'll bring us right back to this point. So. Yep, here we go. Here comes... Here comes a ghost. It, oh, there's creepy clowns. I didn't even see that. Oh, there's clowns on it. What the hell? There's a bear. I like the bear. The bear's fine. Clowns, not so much. Okay, here we go, everybody. I hope you're ready to watch me die. This is the chest Barry referenced in her journal, where her kids were hiding. Well, I guess Eve's children, not Mary's. Oh, yeah, let's open it up. Yep, open. Let's open it up. Ooh, just a teddy bear. That's fine. That's nothing. Yep, just let, let's pick it up. Let's take it. Let's take it with us. Didn't they die, like, 200 years ago? Leave the chest. Look inside. Okay, as long as the option to climb inside the chest. Oh, God, I'm going to get pulled in. Oh, I'm going to get pulled in. Or pushed in. Or something. Oh, no. We're safe. We're alive. Hey. Oh, God. Climb inside. Fucking holy shit. Ooh, ooh, flashlight. Ooh, ooh, okay. Oh, hi, hi, hi. What? This happens to you a lot, I guess. Just creepy kids popping out of toy chest, screaming at you. Okay, whatever. Well, we didn't die, so that was unexpected. But we are all out of time for this video. If you like the video, be sure to let me know by smashing that like button. If you want to say hey, leave a comment down below. Thank you so much for watching this. I hope that you're enjoying this game. Goodbye for now. Until next time.